Okay. Now, folks, let's get to the next segment. The full story on what's really been going on with me behind the scenes these past few months in regards to my YouTube channels and getting the new uh, partner network and all of that, all right? Let's talk turkey. I'll be honest with everyone up front about everything that's going on, okay? Because <clears throat> there's some information here that you're not going to know that, you know, you need to know if you want to know the full story. If you don't care about this, you can skip it. There'll be a Q&A segment at the end of the show, but um, a lot of people have total misinformation on what's going on. Honestly, I don't even know what's been happening outside of what I've said. People tell me, oh, there's podcasts here and there. I don't even care. I'm not listening to the podcast. I'm just going to tell you the God's honest truth about what's been going on the past few months, all right? So, here's what happened, folks. Back in February, YouTube ad revenue plummeted. When that happened, I contacted my longtime partner network, Machinima, and said, can you get me an answer on what's going on with this? Because... I need to know because I can't pay my bills. And if I can't pay my bills, I'm going to go out of business. So this is a serious concern. And Machinima basically beat around the bush at me for two weeks to the point where they finally disrespected me and were talking down to me. And I realized at that point that it was time for us to part ways because I'm not going to deal with any MCN that's going to basically be passive aggressive and insult me and treat me like a kid and basically tell me how to run my business. So enough was enough. And I, I told them, if you're going to keep acting like this to me, I don't want to be a part of you anymore. And so they released all my channels from their partnerships. So I was faced with a dilemma. I needed to get into another partnership right away. Okay. <clears throat> Now, at first, all right, at first, I already had another partner network lined up that I wanted to partner with. This was a partner network that I'd been talking with for two years, two years, all right? And it was someone who I knew who had a business relationship already in the past, and the guy knew me, knew my content, liked everything about me, and was basically ready to put me into a managed partnership, give me a pretty good revenue share cut, and he was going to be my manager too, so I'd have a go-to guy to go to for issues and stuff. Um, all this was going to happen, okay? And all this was looking good. But sadly, something bad happened, all right? And here's what happened, and this is the truth, and no one knows this. I don't, I didn't have his number, okay? I didn't have his phone number. What I have is I had his, um, I had his information on, on Twitter, and that was it. Like, I didn't have his personal, I wish I had his Skype. I really wish I had his Skype, but I didn't have that, okay? So the only me method that I could contact this guy was via Twitter, but obviously being that my channels were, were going to be unpartnered right away, at least DSP Gaming was going to be unpartnered from Machinima right away and not be making any money, I needed to find a quick solution right away, okay? All right. <clears throat> So, I contacted this guy on Twitter, both via PM, but I didn't know if he uses Twitter frequently, so I also publicly messaged him and said, Hey man, uh, FYI, I need to talk to you right away. Well, as you guys know, I have stalkers. I have mentally ill, fucked up in the head stalkers, who literally follow my every waking moment and every piece of information on the internet, my social media, anything that I post in the comments of a video, anything that I post on my forums, they literally jump on it and find an opportunity to attack me. So what they did is they saw this one single tweet to this guy, they researched, they found out that he works for this certain network on YouTube, and they spammed the fuck out of the partner network with negative stuff. They were saying, Phil's a fucking racist, Phil jerked off on stream, Phil's a piece of shit, if, you, if he joins your network, we're gonna talk shit about your network, how could you even consider recruiting this guy, you guys are assholes, how dare you do this? So basically, they fucked me. They went on fucking social media and attacked this company. Now, the thing is, this company wasn't a giant company. This company is a relatively small partnership network that was looking to actually... They had been trying to recruit me for two years. They wanted me to leave Machinima and come with them, but the thing is, they weren't going to pay me as much money as Machinima. So, obviously, it made sense for me to stick with Machinima for the length that I did, all right? <clears throat> so, the problem is, this company is small. And being a small company, if they were smeared with negative press, you know, hundreds of people spamming their social media, fuck this company because they're getting DSP, and, you know, you, you guys are a piece of shit and all that, and basically making them look bad, all right? They basically couldn't recruit me. They had a meeting. You know, there's a small group of people. It's not like this is a company with thousands of employees and all of this, right? Um, so they all had a meeting, had an internal meeting about me. They said it was an hour-long internal meeting just about recruiting me. At the end of the meeting, they were like, we like Phil. We like his content. We know his content will bring in views and bring us money, but we're a small company, and we can't be at risk of having Phil being with our company, and then we're getting all this negative attention from his haters. And that was even the thing. The guy apologized to me up and down and was like, dude... I can't believe it because I like you and we all like you here, but the amount of assholes who follow you over the internet screwed you over. It's literally the only reason we can't recruit you and give you the managed partnership and everything you want is because of them. Because we got this giant negative backlash because they saw one tweet that you sent me. They figured that I was going to go with you and they spammed the living shit, okay? Spammed the living shit out of it. Now, Sanguine I just did a 10-bit cheer and he said, so basically that company caved into the haters and trolls. No spine. I disagree. No. The thing is, folks... A lot of these companies that are trying to get their foot in the door on YouTube, they're competing with giant monsters like Curse, like Maker Studios, like Full Screen, like what's the other one? Scale Lab, I think, is huge. So they're competing with these giant MCNs who already have these established footholds on YouTube. They're actively trying to recruit people to their networks, okay? <clears throat> 
Wow, this is so dumb. Because the per some idiot troll just did a cheer that's completely false. Because I'm not even talking about... I'm not even talking about Laveria yet, just so everyone knows. I'm not. That's what That was later. I'm talking about a different company altogether that this happened up front early on in, uh, in February this happened, actually, okay? So that has nothing to do whatsoever with the future relationship with Laveria. I'm going to explain all that, okay? But this company basically said we can't have negative press. We cannot have negative press, okay? We can't, sorry, we want you in our network. We know it would help us financially, but we may not be able to recruit other people in the future if we have these hundreds of people attacking us daily for being assholes. By the way, those same people attack Machinima every single day on their social media and everything for having me in their network, okay? They attack uh, Loot Crate. They attack all these businesses that have partnerships with me. They actively go and go toxic shit. They just toxically shit over anyone who has an association with me to basically try to get them to, to, to not have an association with me and to have my business fail. That's fucked up. I don't even know these people. I've never met them. I've never personally or any of these people, these people are so fucked in the head that they think that this is a good thing to do. This is the right thing to do to fuck over my life, all right? So that's what happened at first, okay? So then in the meantime, when he told me, well, sorry, we can't recruit you right now. And by the way, he did say that in the future maybe, but I don't know. At this point, let's face it. We know that these people that stalk me are never going to stop, never. So I don't think that I would ever be able to go with like a smaller company. I have to go with a company where that kind of shit doesn't affect them, right? So that's why I was looking at a few other companies. And there was a couple other companies um, that were considering recruiting me as well. Um, but then they also, one, one other company turned me down for the same reasons, basically. They said, man, you know, we just looked at your social media, got blown up with negative people when you tried to go with this other company, so we can't recruit you either. We're in the same situation, all right? So finally, finally, what ended up happening is I applied with Curse. Now, Curse is giant. For those who don't know, Curse is actually owned by Twitch, and Twitch is owned by Amazon. They're a giant company. They've recruited thousands of gamers on YouTube. Ads are running on people's videos from Curse. It's a giant network. So Curse doesn't give a shit does not give two diddly dicks that people are going to spam their social media saying negative things about me. They don't care. They're immune to that stuff because they're big enough to be immune to it, all right? They're not worried that they can't get more recruits because I'm with them. Okay. So, folks, um, that being said, I signed up with Curse, and that worked out. I signed up with Curse, and first DSP Gaming went to Curse, and then eventually KO Gaming went to Curse. And I'll be honest, immediately I started making more money than I was with Machinima. Like, daily I was making more money than with Machinima, so if you really want my honest opinion, I think that Curse has better advertisement contracts with certain advertisers, that people are running ads on Curse network videos, and those are more profitable than those that are with Machinima. I just think that that must have been the case. So, immediately, I'm thinking, this is great, right? Money has gone up. So, as I signed with Curse, and this was probably, I'm not even lying, probably two days after I signed with Curse, I received an email. Now, the email was from a company I had never heard before. I never heard of them. I didn't know who they were. I'll tell you the name now. The name of the company was Pultavi. P-U-L-T-A-V-I. And I know everyone's going to fervently go on the internet and start searching for Pultavi right now. I did, at the time, because I had never heard of them. So this guy wrote me, and he says, Phil, I, I watch your vlogs, and I actually just saw that you had joined with this Curse company. Uh, <clears throat> what are they offering you? And would you consider going with another network if they were to give you better terms or whatever, okay? <clears throat> now, I was incredibly skeptical, okay? In fact, keep in mind, this started happening when I partnered with Curse, which was early March. No, I take that back. That was February. No, it was, uh, I think it was like the first week of March, okay? So, this was, I talked with this company for two months before I decided to even take a chance with them, all right? So, <clears throat> They say, okay, here's what we'll offer you. We're going to offer you a managed partnership. We're going to offer you a slightly higher uh, revenue share than what uh, Curse offers. And, now, by the way, I hadn't asked for this or anything. None of this was anything that I have ever asked for. I was offered that they, what they were going to do out of their own, you know, side, they wanted to do that, right? Was they were going to search the internet for when people made malicious, this is how you don't play videos. Not normal ones. It was a normal video and it's someone just being funny or whatever. But if you're looking at a video that's super malicious or whatever, they were going to search the internet for those videos. They weren't going to take them down, but they explained to me that apparently if someone's using my videos without my legal permission, that basically I cannot copyright strike that video down, but I own the ad revenue on that video. Now, I don't know if I agree or disagree with that. I think that that's a screwed up thing. But what they were offering me, which I never said that I authorized them to do, but they were offering, they were going to claim, mass claim, people who were stealing my content and making videos with it and basically take ad revenue from it. So let's say, for example, someone makes a viral video that's totally negative about me. We both make money on it, okay? Now, keep in mind, I didn't suggest that. I didn't propose it, and I wasn't going to go along with it. But this is what they were they wanted to do up front, okay? Um, and I was like, I don't even know how that works legally. You know what I mean? How could that work? I don't know legally if there's a, a grounds to do this or not. So that was just something that they offered. But I don't obviously know that that's the deal, that that would have gone through or whatever, okay? So this is what they wanted to do. This is what they offered me. So I said, well, I wasn't going to even be serious with them yet. What I wanted to do was do research. And I looked on the internet, and I found zero information at that time about this company, Pultavi. I had no idea who they were. I had never heard of them, and I couldn't even find 
any information about this company existing. By the way, shout out to CJ Euphoria who just subscribed.